everyone. Okay, so yesterday morning, <laughs> I was deciding whether I was going to go to thrift store or go or stay home and um, pick up my or organize my room because I still haven't put away my stuff in my room since the renovation. So I decided to, uh, I tried doing that and then I gave up and said, I'm going to go to thrift store first. So I did and luckily um, I went and um, I went, I was going over to Savers and uh, I saw this other place on the way and pulled in there and this is where I found um, this milk glass which is a big vase and uh, matches the bowl that Marilyn G gave me and uh, it's pink and it also matches my um, cups that I bought and so it's a Jeanette um, so I really I am so happy I went there and I'm happy I found it it's um, it was uh, five ninety five, and when after I paid, I looked at the receipt, and she had give it given it to me fifty percent off, so three dollars for this huge vase. It's probably ten inches tall, so I'm really happy about that. And then I found these dominoes, which were interesting because this is Coca Cola on it, which I mean, you know, probably. I won't use those as Coca-Cola, but I thought they were they were cool. Um, so I bought those for two ninety five, and then I bought this. Um, it's a blanket. It's probably a child's blanket, maybe. It looks like. Um, I'm going to open it. Oh, isn't that pretty? This is the back side. And it's all the same print. It's a light pink, dark pink, like cabbage rose with some green leaves. Really pretty. And then on the other side, it looks like a quilt. And it's quilted. I mean, it's, you know, it's probably machine quilted, but I thought it was really pretty. My original thought was going to be to um, cut it up, but now that I look at it, how pretty it is, <laughs> I don't think I could cut this up. I may use it for in my craft room somehow. So it's pretty big. Maybe I'll back it up, show you. That's my, uh, I'm using my table today because it's kind of a mess upstairs. But, um, yes, yeah, so isn't that pretty? I'm so happy I found that. Really, really neat. So, I got that. And that was, it was all under $10 that I, I got all these, these three things. And I went home and, and started cleaning up my room. Still doing it. <laughs> it's never ending. Okay, and then last um, week I went over to Savers and I found some fabric. Well, this is a pillow that I found. I figured I could use it to um, use the fabric up, you know. And on the other side it's, um, and I've already washed it all. Um, it's got this kind of a velvet, kind of a yellow velvet. So, I'm thinking, I think I'm making those flowers that, um, that, it says Pixie Dust Originals, that, um, Marissa made, and, um, so I bought that, and then I found the sheet, and it's pretty big, it probably is a queen size, and I've already washed that up too, it's, um, you know, Rachel, what's her name? It's a Simply Shabby Chic, which they sell this at Target. But I've never seen this one, so it must have been one of the early ones. Um, I forgot Rachel's last name. 
but she's the shabby chic lady originated it and um, so this is a yellow little flowers so I found that one and these were pretty inexpensive I think they're probably three dollars each and then I got this this uh, pillow sham which is also um, the uh, Simply Shabby Chic from uh, Target. It's a Target brand. And I don't, I have some of those sheets, but I don't have um, this one. So I'll probably cut this one up. You know, I don't really want to use this, um, nor the a sheet. I'll cut that up. And so that is what uh, the fabrics I got over there and that's a quilted one and then I found this this is a hobnail um, Fenton and um, these are three nesting ashtrays and I found these the total for these were $15 so score um, for me, anyway, because the other ones I bought were 20 for three, um, but they were, they're heart ones. So, anyway, the only thing is this really looks like an ashtray, so I'd have to cover it up somehow on the edges. But it's really nice. And it says in the center, Fenton. little glary but there you go so it says Fenton so so these are really very nice and in good shape so that's what I got at my thrift stores and since I have some time I'll show you some of my fabric that I got I got I just got three from the Art um, Art Attack, um, and she sent me the blue, and this is ten dollars for three fat quarters. And the fat quarter is um, it, what they do is they take a half of a um, they cut a half size of you know, half a yard. And then they cut that in half so that it's not as, as uh, narrow, it's wider, it's more square than um, if you bought a quarter of a yard. So, so anyway, I got, uh, she sent me the blue with the pink flowers. And then I like this one, it's a lattice one. which is pretty, that's a pretty one too, the gingham green and the pink flowers. And then there's um, a pink one she sent. And that one is kind of similar to this uh, quilt, isn't it? I think the green is more predominant in the quilt, but anyway, that's what I got from Art Attack. And she's, she's on Zibit, for those who haven't seen her store, um, on Zibit. And she sent me a couple of these um, metal pieces as a thank you. And I have, this is the newer stack I got from... Um, fabric.com. I'm going to make a bag with this one. Um, I hope I have enough. I've got to measure it. And, uh, but I think I do. But this is really pretty. I love this one. It's a pink with a kind of a faded uh, gray um, print of Parisian style. And then I got this one. 
also, which is really pretty. And I got a yard of this. I think I was got these when they were having a little sale. Um, and I think it maybe have been somewhere seven, somewhere eight dollars a yard, which is still a lot. And let's see. Some of these I got other places. I don't remember. I think I got this one. And I think these are now the, the Whalen, um, Tanya Whalen. And this is a green color with a um, pink. And um, this one I don't think is a Tanya Whalen. And this one, I think these were just on sale ones, which are pretty too. I think they're kind of bright though. I would use, you know, maybe use the other side or put cheesecloth on there. Um, and then this is a Tanya Whalen one. I, I had this, but I just got some more. And then I think I got these online um, on eBay. So I really like this one. It's so pretty. And then um, this one also, which is cute. And um, this I got at, um, it's a postery piece I got from uh, Joanne's, uh, what do you call it, remnant spot. I check their remnants every so often. And I, I got some of this Hello Kitty one also. Remnant and a piece of blue uh, satin. And then I got this on a website. Uh, I think I got this on, um, I forgot where I got it. I got a little piece of this tulle uh, uh, fabric. It's blue and brown. It's really pretty. So it's just a little piece though. I think it's a fat quarter also. Yeah, it is a fat quarter. I think I got this on a Sippet store. But, um, I had washed it up and folded it up. And then the rest of my fabric is all upstairs in a basket. <laughs> Some of my fabric. And since I have one more minute, I will show you my, um, on eBay, I got these, um, cards. I bid on these cards and nobody else bid on them. <laughs> but they're like 1940s. And they're baby cards. They're vintage baby cards. So I thought they are so cute. Really, really like them. Got teeny. And I guess I could, um, you know, uh, copy them and recreate something else with it. I do have some of these in my baby album, actually, because I'm a 1950s baby. So, and these, this is what it looks like. It's, these are the, it must be the style then. I love this. Look at these little tiny flowers on here. This little lacy looking thing. So pretty. I thought I'd share these with you because they're so pretty. Some people don't like these vintage things, but I like them. Very pretty. So, oh, this one's really pretty. So, anyway, this is the last one. Okay, so that's all I have for you today, and um, hope you guys are having a really good weekend, and I will hopefully talk to you soon. Bye!